have you here for a midweek edition of the NBA on 2K Sports. This should be an intriguing contest with Hall of Famer Grant Hill and Brent Berry. This is Brian Anderson. We'll be hearing from Allie LaForce from the sideline. And a chance now to take a look at some numbers for D'Angelo Russell. He's been really dialed in from deep during these last five games. Looking assertive and in control every time he rises up to shoot from beyond the three-point line. And it's been fun to watch. Just about ready to get this one started. First, let's hear from Allie LaForce. Allie. Thanks, Brian. Well, current financial challenges have Commissioner Silver and the league office dusting off proposals for expansion. Silver said at some point, it's manifest destiny that the league will eventually expand. The last time that happened was 1988 with the Bobcats. Guys, Seattle fans hopeful things move along. Boy, Ali, wouldn't that be something? And here we are, Grant, coming up on Thanksgiving. Now, when you're at the table, what's the first food you reach for? Oh, B.A., I always go for the turkey. That's the foundation of my Thanksgiving eating. You got to start with that first and then work around that. Now a look at Philadelphia's starting lineup. The dynamic duo of Harris and Embiid at the four and the five. Curry and Green, the two and the three. And it's Russell in at the one. And for the Warriors, play at the two with Wiggins at the three. Nemanja Bialica is out there with James Wiseman. And it's Curry in at the point. And it's the Sixers to start out. Russell against Curry. Green, the pass to Embiid. Back to Green. Outside Russell. Four on the clock. Embiid gets rebounded by Golden State. Curry with it. He's given them steady production at over 27 points a game. Pass to Wiseman. And here's Bielitsa, pounded by Harris. Bielitsa, the pass to Thompson. And he banks in the layup. Nice job by Bielitsa. Be patient. Look for teammates. He found one. Curry against Russell. Shoots over Curry. Russell, that's good. I mean, what do you expect when you give him the clear look? That's just too easy. Now he's automatic from the mid-range, and the defense knows that. It's a mistake to give up a shot like that. Now here's Wiseman. A reliable offensive contributor, putting up almost 14 a game. The three from Curry. Not going to go that time. So Philadelphia will take it the other way. This game coming after the loss versus the Kings. They failed to create enough good looks. The ball movement just wasn't quite where it needed to be. Yeah, lots of ups and downs. One good possession, two bad ones, one good one. They could never get on a steady run and play some solid offense. Here's Curry. The Sixers getting their last shot to go. Thompson passes to Curry. Yes, and a nice assist from Thompson. Really the last guy that you like to see comfortable shooting the ball is Stephen Curry, just automatic. Here in the first quarter, with about two minutes gone by, here's Embiid. And the 76ers tack on two more. That's just tremendous scoring instinct. So fun to watch him work in the half court. We talk about Embiid's surge in production, but it doesn't end there. He said, I want to push my teammates to be better and lead by example. Here's Curry. Puts it up from 12. And the Warriors tack on two more. Wiseman flushing out his game from the mid-range. The 76ers have gone three of four to get things going. Russell from outside sinks the tray. Russell's got seven points. And many great players eventually realize that we is greater than me. Yeah, Embiid's main point to this team is play the right way because that's what you can control. He is intelligent, vocal, and selfless. These teams are finding the range, showing a lot of confidence. It seems like they're going to find out who can make the deepest threes. Right now it's a shootout. Now here's Curry. Averaging around six a game. And Clay Thompson picks up the foul. That's his first foul of the game. These calls can be so difficult for officials to make. First quarter of play, and we're about three minutes in. Pass to Embiid. That falls. Nice assist by Russell. 
Embiid's gotten his second bucket. Adilo at that size has great court vision, and a great pass. Bielitsa against Harris. Down low. And that one's good. Thompson. He has seven. Neither side willing to relent. That's led to eight lead changes and a bunch of drama already. Embiid, a screen on Curry. Pass to Embiid. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. It's on Stephen Curry. And the moment MB gets the ball anywhere near the hoop, it's over. Too strong to stop without fouling. Taking two shots. one falls. A fun-loving player on and off the court, Embiid continues to get better. One of the league's top big men. Good on both. Well, a big fellow with the ability and confidence at the free throw line is something that every team wants. Don't have to make those late substitutions. Keep your big guys on the floor. Now here's Curry. Thompson outside. Let's the three fly. The rebound by Embiid. He didn't make them pay for that weak defense, but they just can't rely on him to miss those kind of shots. Outside Curry. Harris down low. He's covered by Curry. And that one's good. I'm not the biggest player out there, but Tobias Harris confident to get down low, use his frame, and score. Curry against Russell. Curry, that's good. Curry's got five now. Yeah, this is a solid opening quarter right here. Very active and creating a lot of good opportunities for himself. Russell with the ball. Guarded now by Wiseman. And that's a foul. Called on Stephen Curry. That's, that's foul number two for him. That's a whistle he did not want to hear. His second foul, and we're not even out of the first quarter. Cool. He's checked in for Stephen Curry. Jordan Pass to Green. Embiid with it. Outside Russell. Five to shoot. The three. Here's Harris. Another three for Philadelphia. Well, early in his career, defenses challenged Tobias Harris to take this shot. Now they don't want him to, for good reason. Now here's Poole. His last outing, we saw him score 22. The three from Thompson, and he finishes. That makes him four out of five. What a quarter right here, establishing some confidence. Four of five, shooting the ball. Pass to Russell. Puts the move on, and then Russell with the dunk. Russell. Wow. I'll tell you, such an advantage having a playmaker who can get up to the rim and finish. Now that is what every team wants. I'd like to see that assertiveness, especially from the guy who's going to orchestrate your offense. Thompson, no good. Philadelphia has gone two for two from deep to start this one. Here's Harris. Rebounded by Bielitsa. He's so good at getting to the rim. Maybe tries to get a little bit too cute with that one. I thought he'd lay it straight up and in. Now here's Poole. What? No scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. The fadeaway. Again, the Warriors score. Well, Clay is going to draw that kind of attention, and that's going to open up opportunity. Outside Curry. Pass to Russell. He can't get it to go. Oh, some solid defense from Poole. Neely to the pass to Poole. Now Wiggins. Now here's Wiseman. Hounded by Harris. Poole outside. 
Bielitsa against Russell. Bielitsa, the pass to Thompson. Sinks it from distance. Thompson's got 13 points. He doesn't look satisfied with the lead right now. He wants more. And he looks like he's going to get it. Checked in for Curry, and it's Maxi in for Russell. And Philadelphia has possession, trailing by two. Pass to Milton. Drummond, the screen on Wiggins. Inside, knock loose. And here's Poole, looking for his first basket still in this one. Drummond grabs the miss. The 76ers have gone a fantastic 8 of 11 so far. Back to Maxi. Another shot. Ooh, rejected by Wiseman. Feel like Wiseman covers every area on the floor, and that's a nice block. Pass to Wiggins. Oh, oh over the are you kidding me? Wow. Amazing. Oh, out of this world. Reverse jam. Nice. Oh, doing damage above the rim. That was our AT&T 5G slam cam. They're searching for a way to score. Yeah, buckets have been very tough to come by. Now here's Harris. He had a 12-point outing in their last game against Sacramento. And he also positioned himself perfectly to grab all those rebounds. Guys can't forget about the fundamental. And the jam by Drummond. You really at times can throw that ball up near the top of the square, and Andre Drummond can still get up for it. Poole, the pass to Wiseman. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. And James Wiseman, remember the number two pick in the 2020 draft. A top prospect coming in. Wiseman with a limited college step. Might be the reason he went to number two on draft day. And I think we got to show a little Super bit two. of patience with Wiseman having a truncated first season and then learning the NBA game after very little college experience. This is a seven-footer who can glide across the court, can finish at the rim, and is a great rim protector on defense. His game's coming. Perfect from the line this time. It's so exciting about the potential of what James Wiseman can and will do in the NBA. And you know this coaching staff has huge plans for him to be a major contributor. Now here's Harris. Five points in the game. Back to Thibault. 
Late clock, the Sixers need to put one up here. Milton for three, and Toscano pulls it down. Golden State has gone four of seven from three-point range here in the first. Now here's Poole, the D's right on him. Pass to Wiseman. Here's Toscano. Clock at six. Screen by Wiseman. Golden State needs to get off a shot. And here's Kaminga for three. Oh, can't get it. Misses his first attempt. The Sixers trailing. And Milton, here we go. Excellent D there from Wiggins. Here's Golden State. They're on a 12-4 run. Poole with a ball. Now guarded by Harris. And that one's good. Poole. An outstanding first quarter from the field. Philadelphia has gone two of three from three-point land so far. And Philadelphia calls time here. And for the round of section, the free t-shirt. Is it you? Let me hear it. Look who's coming out of the court. You have on your feet and walked on for what is this team? see how the Eastern Conference standings are shaken out. Taking a look at Philadelphia, things stacking up nicely for them so far. Number one in their conference and looking formidable. Well, right now for the 76ers, you have to really give it to them. I mean, they are backing up all the preseason hype. They've been outstanding early. And don't count on that coming to an end anytime soon. The talent level of this squad is off the charts. And with the momentum they're gathering here early in the year, it could steamroll through the season. Here's Drummond. No good there. Excellent D there from Wiggins. The Warriors leading. Iguodala sets a screen. The drive by Poole. And the Warriors get it back for three. And it falls. Two for three from the field so far. Good anticipation there from Iguodala, who is a very good passer. Here's Maxi, guarded by Poole. Now here's Harris. He's got five. To the inside. Here's Drummond. The Sixers with another miss. His touch has left him in this quarter. Nowhere close to the kind of output they need from him. To the paint. You know you're doing something right when you find yourself up double digits in the first period. Well, dominant so far. That's the responsibility of the starters. Now let's see if everybody else who plays in this game makes the same kind of high-level contributions. Both teams are hot. Woo! This is a fun one to watch. Yeah, made for TV game here. Pace is great. Scoring is coming in bunches. And both of the teams feeling confident right now. Now here's Wiggins. Iguodala outside. Here's the three. And he recovers it. To the wing, right side. Back to Wiggins. Three-pointer. Nails it from three. Wiggins got five. And we know it's still early, but they're getting destroyed on the boards. Here's Maxi, guarded by Poole. Pass to Drummond. Knocks it loose. 
There's a four second difference between the shot and game clock. Here's Kaminga. And here's Igadala. Pool outside. Now here's Wiggins. Just five to shoot. From deep three point range. That shot missing. And so it's Clay Thompson making highlights for the Golden State Warriors. He's found his range, hitting three triples in the quarter. We'll be right back with you shortly. to, you know, be more aggressive, um, you know, just look to impose myself, just look to dominate. I guess I need to go back to having fun and just dominate then. Uh, I guess the process continues, Grant. And with big men, it's got to be a team effort. You got to feed him the rock BA inside and help him get it going. And if you're just tuning in, we've got a wide margin on the scoreboard, but plenty of time left for a comeback. All right, guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for the Warriors. So far, guys, they've done a fantastic job finding the open man and getting some easy buckets. It also feels like they just got into a great rhythm from the three-point line right away in the game. Take a look at the 76ers. 76ers. Tyrese Maxey is out there with D'Angelo Russell. Then it's Andre Drummond. Then it's Matisse Thibel. And it's Embiid in at the five spot. And the Warriors making a change here. Wiseman's checked in. The 76ers also with a sub. Curry, he's checked in for Maxey. Thompson outside. On the wing, Curry. And Grant, you were a big wing with skill. That type of player very much in demand in today's game. Well, I mean, today's NBA is all about versatility. Can you get it done offensively and defensively? Players with size and perimeter skills are very much invaluable to their team. And from the sideline, let's catch up with Allie. Brian, we know that Stephen Curry generally is regarded as the greatest shooter the game has ever known. He said for him, quote, it starts with a great base and foundation foundation and allows everything to feel perfect the perfect shot feels effortless to me serene and quiet it's only me the rim and the basketball powerful word from Stefan. it is a thing of beauty alley excellent and so it's golden state with it following the score by philadelphia thompson's shot is off outside curry to the left side wing. Here's Embiid. Ooh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. That's on James Wiseman. Look how sturdy Embiid is as a shooter. Even with the foul, he's able to put the shot up. At the line for two. Free throw, no good. Green's checked in for Drummond. He hits the second from the line. And we're a little over a minute and a half into the second quarter. Russell against Curry to the middle. Oh, got a piece of it. Here we go. The Sixers on the break. Here's Embiid. And then Embiid with the dunk. The control and focus from Embiid. Able to absorb hits from the defense and still finish. Curry drives in. Pass to Toscano. Wiseman, a screen on green. Toscano. Oh, a clear foul there on the mid.
just shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. Any play to stop that easy layup right there. I mean, make him earn it at the line. At the line for the Warriors. Juan Toscano Anderson taking two shots. Shooting two. And he drops the first. It's both from the strike. For Philadelphia, they've gone three of three to begin the second. Russell against Curry. Pass to Embiid. Shoots over Wiseman. And here's another one for the Sixers. I like watching Embiid attack on the inside, using his size and soft touch to capitalize. Curry passes to Wiseman. The Elita outside. Curry with it. From deep. Drains the triple. Curry's got six in the quarter. He has been just completely helpless and turned around. He's so dangerous when he's in this kind of rhythm. Last year, Brent Curry climbing the ranks on all-time made threes. Incredible to see how fast he's ascended the totem pole. Well, the question's going to be, EA, is, is how big will that lead be once it is that Steph Curry retires. It's almost like Stockton and the, the Steel's numbers. Nobody's touching John Stockton's Steel numbers. I feel the same way with Curry's three ball. The Elitza does a good job of staying active and with his shot that time. Pass to Thibault. And here's Embiid, guarded by Wiseman. And it's Wiseman with the rebound. Here's Curry. Doesn't go that time. Good work defensively by Russell. Green, the pass to Russell. Pass to Embiid. Over Bielitsa. The Sixers with another miss. D giving him that shot, and that's probably not a good idea, but I guess they knew what they were doing that time. Thompson with it. Embiid covers. The Elita outside. Here's Wiseman. Outside Curry. Six to shoot. Sinks that one. Now shooting five of ten and looking sharp. And when Stephen Curry has these kind of nights where he's hot like this, it is must-see TV. Here's Russell. Hits the front of the rim and out. Golden State has gone two of four from beyond the arc in the second quarter. And there's the foul. It's on D'Angelo Russell. That's his, That's his first, first foul. foul. And yeah, he, he still was moving at the point of contact. And that was a great replay we just saw of our mobile one block. Yeah, I love that they maintain the defensive energy even when they're behind. Outside Curry. Here's Toscano. That drops, and it comes off an assist from Curry. Curry's got three assists tonight. The vision Curry has on the floor. We've seen him put those goggles up from time to time. He easily spots a ready shooter that time.
look at the teams that have really impressed shooting from the field during the last 10 games. The fourth spot held by the Warriors. But lately, their offense has been completely in sync. Guys are accepting their roles and playing unselfish basketball. That's helped them hit a high percentage of those opportunities. Outside Curry. Wiseman against Embiid. An open look for Russell. Solid as a rock from 20 feet out. Russell. Russell's got 11 points. He's shooting well, doing his best to keep this offense in gear, but he hasn't had a lot of support. From 11 feet away, and it's Toscano missing. The 76ers have gotten five of seven shots to fall in the second. Russell against Curry. Pass to Embiid. That drops, and it comes off an assist from Curry. He's got 15. Well, that basket must be widening out right now. He's making almost every shot he's putting up this quarter. Russell against Curry. Here's Thompson. Joel Embiid with the board. Embiid's got four rebounds now. Outside, Green, pass to Russell. Embiid, a screen on Curry. Russell with the ball. Started now by Wiseman. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. And D'Angelo Russell looking at his career. He's slowly becoming a more efficient player. Learning his strengths and his limitations. Two shots. Free throws, good from Russell, and for Russell, he's still a volume scorer, but now I think he's better at picking his spots. And you can live with his percentages. I mean, he's improved his shot from the outside. It seems like he's always looking to refine his game. Kaminga, he's checked in for the Warriors. Poole comes in for Clay Thompson. Tobias Harris checked in for the Sixers. Milton comes in for Curry. And D'Lo has shown that he has an extreme amount of confidence and offensive ability in this league. It's just a matter of finding the right environment. Now here's Curry. He's got 13. The floater, and he sinks the layup. Curry's got 15 points. This quarter belongs to him, and that's how you do it when you're out in front. Don't play it safe. Keep that momentum going. Harris outside. To the inside. And then Embiid with the dunk. Well, for Tobias Harris to take this step, getting away from scoring and finding teammates to become a more adept passer, it's good signs. Now here's Curry. 26 points for him last game against Toronto. And guys, what impressed me most was his passing. He constantly looked for the open man and found guys in great spots. Poole against Milton. Pass to Embiid. Embiid drawing the double team. Milton. Oh, the teardrop falls in. Milton's got his first points of the game. <laughs> I just love the ball move. The three from Curry, and the Warriors with another three! Steph Curry is a brilliant offensive basketball player. The D backs up, and he just shoots that one off the dribble. Now, here's Green. He's closely guarded. The fader. Embiid misses. The Warriors have gotten 7 of 16 shots to go in the second. Oh, stolen by Harris! Pass to Milton. Now Embiid on the wing. Green. Outside Milton to the paint. Oh, they get a hand on it. Golden State has gone 4 of 6 from outside. Looking sharp here in the second. Dominguez's shot is off. The 76ers have gotten 8 of 13 shots to fall in the second quarter. 
Kyle Russell. He's coming off a 19-point game against Sacramento. He also did a masterful job in that game of drawing a lot of fouls, so he's creating havoc for the defense. Iguodala's checked in for the Warriors. Wiggins comes in for Curry. Maxi, he's checked in for the Sixers. And it's the Warriors with the ball. They led by as many as 18. November. So let's check in on the standings in the Western Conference. You look at the Warriors. Here in the early going, they're in eighth place. Well, I think for Golden State, they wanted to get better. They're putting in the work. Maybe the results will start coming later in the year. And after talking to some of the coaches and the players, they're not happy that they couldn't start off on a little bit more of a roll. But I think they're in fine shape with the bulk of the season still to come. Iguodala outside. To Bielitsa. Now here's Poole. Three pointer. Drills it from deep. Poole's got eight. This defense is getting spaced out. Three of the last five buckets have come from way beyond the arc. And here is Green. Now Embiid. Bielitsa defending. That's good from Embiid on the assist by Green. Embiid's got 19 points. They just look so overwhelmed inside. You know, that's why they continue to get attacked. Iguodala with the ball. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. Yeah, and the defense has really got to tighten up on him. I mean, he's just too dangerous from the three-point line. Here's Maxi. They trail by 14. And here's Iguodala. Shoots over Maxi. Iguodala's shot is good. Iguodala's got his first two points of the night. He fights through some aggressive defense. Iguodala using those broad shoulders, not taking no for an answer. And let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Allie. Thanks, BA. Well, the Warriors have had a big problem committing fouls. Coach Steve Kerr has drilled them on moving their feet, not getting baited into the cheap ones. He said, quote, we talk about it every day. And Stephen Curry said, quote, it's on all of us to hold each other accountable, being in the right position. And that's why he is who he is. Good stuff, Alan. Here's Maxi. The Warriors getting their last shot to go. Pass to Milton. Here's Embiid. And then Embiid with the dunk. Yeah, a real versatile big man with multiple sweet spots out on the floor. Embiid is definitely on a roll. Iguodala outside. Poole outside. Wiggins outside. Six on the shot clock. And it's flushed down! A nice jam. And how about the acrobatics from Andrew Wiggins way up that time? to 
and B. Goes up and lays it in, nice and easy. Embiid's got 23. Come on, guys, check out the tenacity. There's no back down in this fellow whatsoever. Drummond's checked in for the Sixers. Third team foul. 76 yourself, Andre Drummond. Iguodala outside. Here's Bielitsa. Misses the three. Bielitsa's gone. One for three on the night. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. Harris outside. Pass to Embiid. The Warriors pull it in. They put up a nice win against Toronto last time out. A big difference in that one. Their ability to convert from range, by and large, they took some really good shots. It looked like the directive in that game was that they wanted to attack and all that work that they put in on the perimeter turned into a big night for me. And so it's the Golden State Warriors with an impressive 16-point lead heading into the break. We hear teams talk about wanting to get the ball inside, but this is how you do it. All right, now let's check in with Allie LaForce. Allie, what do you have? Guys, thanks. Andrew, this team has set the tone at the defensive end. What's working for you? Uh, we just got after it. You know, that's the main thing, you know, we're just trying to make them uncomfortable. Test everything. And, you know, we were converting on the other side. It's all about the effort. Back to you. All right, Allie, thanks for that. We will see everyone right back after this break. Ready for the second half. Hey, folks, you're welcome. This first half has been the Stephen Curry Show. He has just been everywhere. He looked like he was having a lot of fun out there. Mm, like Shaq eating a family-sized portion of mac and cheese. He couldn't be happier. Kitty, you know me so well. That's why we're brothers, man. And taking a look now at that first half, what a showing it's been so far for the Warriors. You're right, Ernie. Look at the numbers. His impressive point contribution speaks for itself. He's put the team on his back on the offensive end, of course. And he's saying, hey, follow me. Thanks, as always, for watching. Let's head back to Brian Anderson and crew for the start of the second half. we dive into the second half we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two so far it's been a runaway what else can you say Joel Embiid an impressive effort here today through two quarters of play he's been an excellent source of points yeah he's, he's shouldering the load right now and looking really comfortable while he's doing it just about ready for the second half here. A big comeback is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. Curry and Thompson are the one and the two. Wiseman is out there with Nemanja Bielica, and it's Wiggins in at the three slot. That's the Warriors five. Now here's Curry. Now quiet so far offensively, searching for his first points of the game. Russell against Wiseman. MB drawn the double team. Shot clock at six. Knocks down the triple. Curry's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. You can't discount Embiid's value as a passer. That vision and court awareness. These are traits a team loves to have in a big man. Now here's Bielitsa. He's averaging about six points per game. Outside Curry. From downtown. The Warriors pull it in. Wiseman's got six rebounds in the game. Now here's Curry. 18 points for him from deep. And it's Harris with the rebound. Philadelphia has gone three of six from deep so far. And looking at the career of Curry, his legacy is set. The titles, records, numbers all cemented him as a legend. Now here's Russell. 13 points in the game. 
Look, it's a broken record game plan on Green to take away the outside shot. So what does he do? Wiggles inside and throws it down. Pass to Wiseman. Bielitsa against Harris. Bielitsa, the pass to Wiseman. Wiggins outside. Screen by Wiseman. Wiggins with it. Russell covering. Oh, and they immediately answer back with a dunk on the other end. Wiggins getting the space and then does not hesitate before firing that one. At times, some have doubted Curry's legacy. Hard to make a case against him, though, in my opinion. <laughs> I agree, B.A. He has produced in every capacity. It's just a matter of how great he is. One of the top three point guards of all time. And his fantastic performance from the last game has carried over to tonight. Yeah, the coach pretty smart for zoning in on him and giving him opportunities to stay with that confident play. Now here's Bielitsa. Back to Curry. Fires the three. And it's Harris with the rebound. And this is exactly who you want taking that shot. He just missed it. Pass to Embiid. Here's Green. Harris outside. Here's Embiid. And the shot is good. Right. Harris making the play. Harris has got three assists in the game. And their offensive game plan is clear. Get it inside and go to work. Now here's Curry. 18 points for him. Thompson outside. Gets the three to fall. Thompson's got 16 points. Totally reactionary. Not even thinking about it. Clay Thompson playing with some confidence. Over the last 10 games, these two guards have been incredible defensively, piling up the steals. Second, Clay Thompson. The overall quickness of these guys is just flat out incredible. I mean, quick feet, quick hands, <laughs> that's why they're effective perimeter defenders. Well, if he was a light switch, he'd always be on. Defensively, they treat each possession like the game depends on it. They're looking to cause a little bit of chaos in any way that they can. Now here's Russell, 13 points in the game. Drummond with the ball, now guarded by Curry. Drummond with the bucket. Drummond's got his second bucket of the game. They have no answer defensively inside. Russell against Curry. Here's Thompson. The shot that time, not on target. So Philadelphia will take it the other way. Minnesota will be traveling to face him after this game. And that's the first of just two home games for him. The Warriors have got just two of six in the second half. And here's Curry for three. They get it back. Goes back up. And it's blocked by Thibault. And that'll be Golden State's ball as it goes out of bounds. Warriors able to keep possession. An outstanding defensive play to earn the mobile one block. Yeah, just some terrific effort there. And you know the whole team will get an energy boost off a block like that one.
Philadelphia on D. Since halftime, they've only allowed five points. Six to shoot. They double-team Curry. Back to Wiseman. And Andre Drummond is going to pick up the foul. That's his first foul. Like Brad, you played for a Suns team that was influential with their training staff's approach. How has sports medicine changed from the early days? You know, B.A., it has changed immensely. Nowadays, every team incorporates that foundation that that Suns medical staff had back in the day. It's all about prevention. It's about recovery. It's the big picture approach to making sure players can not only get through season after season, but have longevity throughout their careers. Toscano. And at last, they get one to fall. He has seven. Philadelphia has gone one for two from outside the arc in this third quarter. Russell against Curry. Now here's Russell. Defense right on him. And he can't get that one. The Warriors have gone cold here in this third quarter. Just three of nine. Drive by Curry from 15 feet away. And the jumper is on the mark. Curry's got 20 points. That's just like a free throw for Curry offensively. He just does everything so well. Drummond, the screen on Curry. Russell, the pass to Drummond. And the jam by Drummond. The B.A., you know they would love for him to get more of those opportunities. Well, that would cut into the deficit quickly if he does. Curry with it. Russell covering. Curry's shot is off. The 76ers have gone six for nine in the half. Wiggins against Russell. Drummond up top. Shoots over Wiggins. That's good from Drummond. On the assist by Russell. Drummond's got six here in the quarter. Their defense just falls apart once the ball goes inside. Curry's shot is off. His shooting has been a little bit below par. You think about what this lead would look like if he was on. Here's Russell. Outside Curry. Pass to Drummond. Over Curry. The shot by Drummond. No good. And the Warriors shooting just about 33% since this second half started. Curry against Russell. Thompson outside. From deep three-point range. Drummond grabs the miss. Drummond's got four rebounds in the game. And that's a foul. Called on Stephen Curry. That's his third foul of the game. And just wasn't able to set up in time. And the Warriors make some changes. Kaminga comes in for Thompson. And it's Poole in for Curry. Milton's checked in for the Sixers. Maxi comes in for Russell. Here's Maxi. Harris outside. And Harris throws it down. Banging around, trying to move guys around defensively. Tobias Harris showing he's got a little bit working tonight. Pass to Wiggins. Over Milton. Oh, Drummond with the block. They retain possession. Count it. Wiseman's got his third basket on the night right there. The 76ers have gone 8 of 12 from the floor in the third quarter. Now Drummond. Back to Maxi. Milton with it. Shoots over Wiggins. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. Wiseman's got nine rebounds now. Golden State has gotten only one three-pointer to fall here in the third. Five attempts. Screen by Wiseman. Cool with the ball. And Drummond picks him up defensively. But Drummond going after that one. Sometimes shot blockers wait. Other times they attack it. And Andre did it that time. Outside Tybal. Now here's Drummond. He's covered closely. And that one goes. He's shooting five of nine in this one. Good heads up basketball. Season opening and capitalizes. A low maintenance star. I mean, Harris gives you the greatness without the ego. Really a coach's dream. Down low. Wiseman, pass to Poole. Clock at six. This one for three. 
Rebound by the 76ers. And because of his versatility, Grant, Harris can play alongside anyone in any lineup, in my opinion. Well, I agree, B. I mean, big wing players who can shoot have never been more valuable. Harris can stretch you out. He can go back to the basket. He can run the floor. Now here's Poole. Give him eight points now. Pass to Wiseman. Poole outside. Here's Kaminga. Up top, Wiggins. Buries it from three. Wiggins got five points now this quarter. If Wiggins hits these three-point balls at a high clip, he'll become a much better player and more dangerous for this offense. Here's the pick. Outside Milton. With the floater. Excellent D there from Wiggins. The Warriors shooting about 48% from the floor. Pretty good. Kuminga. And it's Harris with the rebound. Jonathan Harris has got five rebounds tonight. His first personal foul. And the Warriors Second making a change here. Iguodala's checked in. The, the 76ers the also players. with a sub. Green has checked in. Philadelphia has gone three of six from deep so far. Green, a screen. Pass to Harris. No good that time. Iguodala with some nice D. The Warriors shooting around 32% in the third quarter. Now Poole takes a three. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. Harris has got six rebounds in the game. And there's the lob. Trying to go for a lob there. Excellent defense and anticipation to stop it. Pass to Kaminga. Poole outside. Jacks up a three. Knocks down the long chain. Poole's got 11 points. And a closer look here at the hustle stats for the Warriors. Defensively, they've played with a high energy level tonight. And all the steals we've seen, a result of that aggressiveness. A significant difference here has been the number of points off turnovers that they've got. Now here's Wiggins. 14 points for him. He's got it going on. Now 7 for 10. 143 left in the third quarter. Pass to Harris. Outside Milton. They need this. The rebound by Wiggins. And this feels like it's snowballed a little bit on them. The more he tries to shoot his way out of this slump, the worse it seems to get. They need him to get it together. Now here's Wiggins. 16 points for him. Poole with the ball. Green picks him up. Oh, Green with the block. Well, if you're going to make that offensive move, it's important to know where Danny Green is. One of the better shot blocking guards you're going to find. A stronger defensive presence would have saved them two points. It didn't seem like anybody was really aware there to go and collect that rebound in the possession. And here are the Sixers now. The Warriors getting their last shot to go. Six on the shot clock. Outside, Green. And another miss by Philadelphia. <laughs> they are really struggling to stop this run. Frustration seems to be mounting here, and you can see not just in their faces, but right now in their quick and hurry shot selection. Now here's Poole. 18 points separating these teams. That's the biggest lead of the game. Here's Wiggins, and the dunk to finish it off. A oh, beauty. And Wiggins right now, it's a buffet out there. He's getting everything he wants in spoonfuls. Harris left side, and he gets it to go, hitting off the back of the rim. Harris has got nine. Easy look when the defender isn't fighting over the screen. And the coach over there just asking for one simple thing, and that's some effort. He got burned on that one. And so it's the Golden State Warriors. A sizable 18-point lead at the end of the period. Really mucking it up on defense. Active hands, multiple efforts, forcing turnovers. We'll be right back after this word.
And let's take this opportunity to show you our State Farm assist to the game. And just a selfless decision from your two guard, showing his ability to get his teammates good looks. What an advantage if your off guard can make plays so valuable. And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. And the 76ers, looking at who they've got. They've got Andre Drummond, Maxi out there with D'Angelo Russell. Then it's Joel Embiid, and it's Curry in at the three. He's off on that one. And it's the Warriors taking it the other way. Thompson in the post. He's covered by Curry. Philadelphia grabs the miss. Drummond's got rebound number five here tonight. Here's Maxi. Pass to Russell. Here's Drummond. Defended by Thompson. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Clay Thompson picks one up. Well, Grant, at this point in his career, I think it's safe to say Andre Drummond will go down as one of the game's premier rebounders. Yeah, you just don't call him a specialist because there's a lot more to Drummond's game than just rebounding. Rim protection, points in the paint. He does just Take about break. everything Take you break. want in a big man. Two shots. When he's on the floor, he lightens the load on every other member of their front court. That free throw, no good. Drummond, the first thing that comes to mind when you see him in that frame is just rebounding the ball. Wiseman, he's checked in for the Warriors. Good on the second one. And the rebounding numbers for Drummond put him in some historic company. Well, you want to say it comes easy, but that does a disservice to Andre Drummond doing the work early, getting down there and staying physical, and really being one of the most dominant rebounders we've seen in the past decade. And it's going to be a three-second call. And a chance now to look at the schedule for the Golden State Warriors. On Friday, they'll go up against C.J. McCollum and the Portland Trailblazers. And then Sunday, they'll be matching up against Kawhi Leonard and the Los Angeles Clippers. And for their matchup with Phoenix, it's going to be a hard-fought battle. You just hope they're able to execute their game plan as it should be a close one. Nice rebound. Trying to match the other team's intensity right now. The Elita outside. Out to Thompson. Pass to Poole. Driving to the basket. Here's Iguodala. Connects from downtown. And the Warriors lead by 20. Their strategy has been pretty simple here in the second half. Attack from three-point range. Maybe trying to find a little bit more space and ball movement to get guys open at the three-point. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Jordan Poole. That's his first foul. Curry, he's checked in for Iguodala. Now Drummond. Outside Russell. Pass to Curry. Embiid a screen on Thompson. Clock at four. Curry. No luck on that one. Thompson with some nice D. Bielita, the pass to Curry. Now here's Thompson. Now here's Bielitsa. He's covered by Curry. Well, Grant, you've won the NBA Sportsmanship Award three times. Tied with Mike Conley for the most ever. Wow, no, it is a humbling experience to get voted for that award by your peers. You know, it's all about, I think, trying to play the game the right way with integrity. And Conley is a guy that truly embodies that. Inside. That's good by Thompson. Just such a confident score seeing Clay get into these areas on the floor and still being effective. Gotta appreciate that part of his game. Now here's Russell. Screen by Embiid. From nine feet out. Second chance effort. Oh, it's blocked. It deflects off the backboard. And they're plus five on the boards after that rebound. Outside Curry. Wiseman. And it's 
Richmond with the jam. And he's now got the double-double. <laughs> That's pretty easy stuff from Wiseman if he's that close. Boy, they'd love if anyone could get a bucket. Yeah, their offense has been grinding to a halt. Outside Curry, launches a three. That shot's good. Russell making the play. Russell's got assist number seven tonight. Curry passes to Wiseman. Bielitsa against Drummond. Pass to Curry. Launches it. Fires in the triple. Curry's got 23 points. That's been typical of their performance today. They're sharing the ball and creating good shots. Drummond with the ball. Down low. Wiseman with a steal. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. That's his second personal foul. Hey, Brad, you've been around the game in so many roles. Been a player, broadcaster, owner. Talk about how the game has grown and the opportunities for continued growth. Well, we know how the game here in the U.S. has really gained prominence and is hugely successful and popular. And I also think that's happened over the years globally as well. But continuing to popularize the game in Africa, India, China, and elsewhere is exciting. There are so many new frontiers for this league to grow, and I'm excited that we're moving forward in that direction. The 76ers making a switch here. Green is checked in. He makes one or two that time. Philadelphia has gone four of nine so far for the perimeter. Russell to pass to Curry. Here's Embiid. Green with a screen on Wiseman. Outside Curry. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. That's on James Wiseman. Shooting for Philadelphia, Seth Curry at the line for two. Shooting two. And he can't get the first one. It seems to be more and more of a challenge for mid-market teams to keep their roster intact. Brent, players have a lot more say than they used to. Yeah, and this is a, an onus on ownership and general managers to create the kind of culture that invites star players to come in and start to win. And if you can get that kind of championship buy-in, you've got a chance, even if you're a small market. And the second free throw is good. Timeout called the Warriors. And one thing I've learned through the years is no matter the situation, there are always adjustments you can make. Yeah, not just there to pump up or to discipline players. You've got to make sure that the coach makes the proper adjustments and has his team in the right mindset to carry it out.
Warriors have gotten four or five attempts to fall so far in the fourth. Pass to Thompson. And last season, a new entity, NBA Africa, created to handle all business on the continent. Brad, you're an investor. Can you talk a little bit about it? Yeah, it's so exciting, BA. First of all, the game of basketball growing all over the world, and particularly on the continent in Africa. So I think it's not only great from a financial standpoint, but you're creating opportunities for the league, and you're exposing people to Africa to this beautiful game. I think it's a win-win, and I'm so excited. They get it again. MB had a miss layup. Well, a lot of players in the league are going to make that shot. And for him, it's pretty much automatic. It's a good defensive effort to prevent the layup. Now here's Curry. The Elite's outside. It's Poole on the wing, guarded by Russell. Outside for Bielita. Clock at two, up and over Russell. And again, it's the Warriors missing. Well, there's more he could have done in this game for sure, but it hasn't kept them from pulling ahead. Pass to Embiid. Now, here's Green. And here's Embiid, guarded by Wiseman. Shoots from the baseline. Embiid can't hit. Golden State has gone two of two from outside so far in the fourth. Count it. Thompson's got four points this quarter. They're showing a little bit of speed in the open floor there as he gets up the lane in transition. Curry against Russell. Curry with some nice D. Well, if he's going to keep shooting, they've got to run some plays for him. Screens, pick and rolls, anything they can do to get him started. Time again. He gets it in there. Curry's got 25 points. The shooting might be Curry's calling card, but he has an incredible handle as well. And that allows him to get through the defense. Now here's Embiid. Grant, as someone who played abroad on Team USA, how exciting is it to see how much more international the league has become? It's fantastic, no question. You know, back then we saw so many talented foreign stars playing internationally, but now the best really do all find their way here to the NBA. Here's Curry, following the score by Philadelphia. Thompson outside. That drops, and it comes off the assist from Curry. Curry's got assist number seven tonight. He's building off that strong first half he had. I'm not sure the defense will be able to figure him out in the second. The shot by Russell, no good. But his shooting this quarter has to be a huge concern, especially when they're behind like this. Can he find a rhythm? And they'll give that one to Nemanja Bielica. That's his first foul, and the Warriors making a change here. Wiggins has checked in. Philadelphia has gone one for two from deep in this fourth quarter. Pass to Embiid. Green against Wiggins. Embiid passes to Green. Now Drummond. Over Bielitsa. The Sixers again can't hit. You have to credit their effort. I mean, they've done an amazing job on the glass. And the jam by Bielitsa. And Wiggins' game continues to evolve. You saw that right there. Good eye movement found the shooter. Pass to Embiid. Fader on the way. The shot's good. Embiid's got 31 points. Well, the rest of the team has looked pretty bad tonight, but he's done a fantastic job of scoring the ball and carrying the load on offense. Now here's Curry. Well, Brent, there are over 50 NBA players from the continent of Africa or with family ties there. And the NBA is investing in Africa's infrastructure for basketball. Well, they're building courts there. The league is going to grow there. And I think within five years, B.A., we're going to have an influx of talent and a player who's going to come in to the NBA and make a huge impact. And the Warriors with possession here after the Sixers picked up the basket a moment ago. The D has to pressure Curry at all times. You can't let him shake free for a jumper. Poole against Curry. They double-team Curry. Here's Drummond. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. second personal foul. Team's fourth. Shooting for Philadelphia. 
Andre Drummond. Two shots. Shooting two. And he knocks down the first one. Well, you just can't overstate how big and monstrous Andre Drummond is on the inside. Teams are just not equipped to handle that kind of size, power, and athleticism. Iguodala's checked in for the Warriors. Clay Thompson comes in for Poole. He's off on the second. With missed opportunities from the line this half, they're not doing themselves any favors. And you have to think that they're leading this game because of how they control the Bulls. And their strategy is obvious. Manufacture looks from outside the arc. And I don't know how they keep doing this, but every time down, the resulting possession ends up at the three-point line and a fairly efficient shot attempt Andre at that. Drummond. And what a turnaround from the first half. I mean, he's been incredible here in the second half. Curry passes to Wiseman. Wiggins against Green. Thompson outside. Another three for Golden State. Exactly what every offense needs. Shooters who can force the defense to extend. Oh, there's no doubt he's a legitimate threat from downtown, and he's demonstrating that in this game. Here's Maxi to the inside. Wiseman with a steal. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. 157 left in the final quarter. Now here's Curry. He's guarded closely. Thompson outside. The free ball. And it's good. Assisting on the play was Curry. Curry's got assist number eight here already in the game. Philadelphia has gone four of nine so far from the perimeter. Here's Maxi. He's covered by Curry. Drummond to screen on Thompson. Here's Milton to the middle. Shot left block. In deep, Andre Drummond, Drummond finishes. Drummond's got 16 points here in the second half. And let's face it, this one was never really in question. They came out with purpose and just overwhelmed the opposition. A great win for the Warriors. And you don't usually see this kind of blowout, but tonight they delivered the punishment. I mean, what's so impressive is they never wavered in their approach. They just kept at it and showed they were without a doubt the better team. And with this one, they go double digits in the win column. And against a non-conference opponent, you really want to win the first one. So go into the next one knowing how to beat this team for sure. And what a huge performance it was for Clay Thompson. And I love his composure. He didn't try to do too much or force things, but he was ready to take advantage of every opening the defense gave him. Now here's Milton. There's 39 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Pass to Drummond. And no good. Good work defensively by Wiseman. And the Warriors with possession here. Thompson outside. Another three for Golden State. Showing us that killer instinct right now. No letting the foot off the gas for them. Yeah, up until that point, a competitive game. But once they broke through that barrier, it was all them. Complete control. Drummond to screen on Thompson. From deep, it's off. And so Golden State takes this one, and by a big margin. We saw two different teams tonight. One played with confidence, operating flawlessly. The other just looked lost. And the energy in this building was awesome. The crowd was involved from the jump, and once they started to really pour it on, it was fun to see how it all came together. All right, let's send it down to Allie LaForce, who's with our player of the game. Steph, I know it's still early, but how do you evaluate this team and its ability to go the distance? Uh, in terms of communicating about our principles and how we're going to be successful, trying to chase that championship, we're definitely uh, on the same page. Just a matter of staying focused every night, giving the best effort we can, and just you know enjoying the journey because it's a long year. Well, you've been there. You know what it takes. Thanks, Steph. Allie, thank you as always. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. 
For Brent Baring, Grant Hill, and Ali LaForce, this is Brian Anderson. Thank you for watching this 2K Sports presentation of the NBA. Now it's time to present our New Balance Player of the Game, Clay Thompson.